without food, there's no me. That's what makes me happy. That is what makes me free. One of the major challenges we face in this street business is purchasing of staffs. Sometimes the capital is that little and you can't buy much of the staff. So you buy it in bits. If God willing, I'm to win this challenge. I will also get a chance to purchase the goods in quantity to help me reach to more customers and to get more attention from the environment and stuff. I'm begging you guys, try and vote for me. Do your best to push me through this competition. With your help and with God, I know it will be a success. To vote for Chef George. Simply dial star 844 star 80 hash and follow the prompt. Present your political show. Welcome to another edition of. I know. I, Has a blog right been fact, So I don't think I'll be. You write, you write facts. facts. When you you write this, <laughs> hey Sewa, we know what you've been up to in this country. What do you know? Where did you pick that from? That is your Twitter page. Okay. That <laughs> Twitter is our agenda. And What's the suggestion? You know, so, in other words, it's about fooling and saying stupid things that 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 is meant to tarnish someone else's image. What's the factual about it? what you've written about Sewa? I mean, Twitter is a different word, you know. How? Twitter. <laughs> Get that right. You can't even spell am I. You can't even spell it. Yet you think you can sit behind a phone and write crap on Twitter about people. Simple and am I. You can't spell it. But that's not the point. You question people's relevance mm -hmm. how relevant do you think you, you are, are? <laughs> because i've seen tweets of you tweets of you rubbishing lydia force and two i need to get um the the source of i mean it's your phone is in your pocket so you you do it but off. yes you know we wrote just on october 10 that uh, the 4.5k issue that that person is paid more than you at gh1 tv do you know my salary? I mean, like, how did you know? That's what I'm telling you that what you see on Twitter is different from Ah when you sit on Twitter and you write utter nonsense about people. You've said horrible things about me, Sewa, Lydia, Forsen, Bridget, other people on your Twitter. Here I am. Say it to my face. Why should I? Why shouldn't you? Why shouldn't you? you? Because what? Twitter is not real life. I have always what? said that people who bully people, when they see them, they can't even talk. You can't even. You are you very clear express. example of those you people. You can't. If you sit on Twitter and you say that it's a different life, and you can insult Lydia Forson that you haven't met before, and you meet her, you will go shush. If you can't you speak, me. like right now. If, because it looks like when you meet real human beings, you, you can't, can't express speak. yourself. You can know you go back on Twitter and write and crap. Yes. <laughs> I don't At care. Least. But the <laughs> thing is, you couldn't say it to my... This issue was a uh, very, very dicey one. Um, I'm trying to be a bit... Um, I'm trying to be as um, objective as I can. Because uh, I don't want to be swayed by um, public opinion. And I don't want to join any bandwagon. But... <laughs> Yeah, so the, but the more I try to sway and be a bit objective too, I would be perpetuating a cause that I am against. That's a problem. So um, let's see, let's see how it goes. So yeah, um, and another Anamwa, who is uh, the general manager of uh, EID Networks, and uh, she is having this project called the Next uh, TV Star. And I have already made a video about her and said good things about her. She has done a lot. Yeah. And I also made a video about uh, internet trolls and people trying to move at us. So I mean, uh, over um, things that they haven't even verified, but things they don't have evidence about. And I personally think it's even a private life, even if it's true. <laughs> I mean, we are in the 21st century, social media age. It is what it is. 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 Anyway, um, yeah, so, um, 
There's this guy with a Facebook handle, and the name is, uh, Albert Natike. And, uh, I mean, he went on, uh, I think he's a student journalist, so I don't know what that, he's, uh, I think he's a, he's a young journalist, he wants to be a journalist, so he's either has a media, um, presence on social media. I mean, they have this, uh, people they call on Twitter, people in Ghana, or this group of, uh, demographics, who they call agenda boys. Basically, they are internet trolls who try to <laughs> push an agenda or they try to uh, <laughs> troll people. Oh. Um, sim- simple stuff, still that have been even um, proven um, true with evidence or, you know, and um, things that, even if it's true, some things that are personal issues, but still put it out there just to, you know, um, make a uh, mockery out of celebrities and uh, people who have, uh, who have, uh, uh, a famous status in Ghana. And I personally don't subscribe to what they do because it's stupid. And I, I, I even hate it. But as I said, I don't know, it's just what it is. So yeah, um, another number, it's auditioning. Um, uh, set an audition, or she's on an audition program, you know, trying to scout people for this TV show. And, uh, this dude by the name, which I mentioned earlier, also applied, or should I say, also worked for the audition. And, uh, not knowing. I mean, the guy has a lot of presence on social media, so, at least, uh, people know his handle and people know him, and, <laughs> I am uh, not knowing that. Uh, <laughs> you won't. You won't pick up with the long time. <laughs> and the guy didn't know he was walking into an ambush. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he was, uh, confronted on TV, on, in front of a camera, when the people, I mean, uh, with Sawami here, and, uh, Yano, and, uh, relationship between the Hananaba and Amwai Sawami here. So, yeah, um, uh, and with Bridget O2 I mean, on any day, I wouldn't have subscribed to the way, I don't know whether it's in, in this bias, but on any day, I wouldn't have subscribed to the way that I was cheated. But I also understand why it went that, went that way, because, <laughs> I mean, from uh, the things I've seen the guy do on social media, uh, with uh, other people, and they are forcing and other people, and, the way he's been too, um, savage, that's the word. It's actually, I mean, it was, I would say he got a dose of his own stuff, or even, this was even small, but, um, I personally think that, um, I don't know, because I, the more I try to make an argument that they should, they should have made it a professional thing, the more I also think that, <laughs> Yeah, being too hard on them too, because, I mean, if they didn't, they didn't do that, they would have sent a message across. So, yeah, um, the guy posted this on his Facebook wall. And he said that, uh, the fact of the matter, I went to Next TV Star Auditions at the studios of GH1 behind the LC Towers, which are to register after I, I had paid 10 Ghana CDs just like every other person. Got there at 8 a.m. but had to meet the judges around 4.30 p.m. Obviously the numbers were high. 4. Finally appeared before the judges. So when I'm here, I'm now about to go and I'll be told to. 5. I answered, I'm a blogger. After I was asked, what do you do? 6. Immediately, I thought things were going to get messier for me. I saw it on their faces. 7. Follow-up tweet I had made when we achieved I was questioned. Eight, I didn't take a defensive stance, but I did say I speak facts. As I posted to an earlier comment made by the judges that so you are a blogger, so you are the blogger who had been writing those things about us. Nine, no discussion switched from auditioning to roasting. I couldn't speak as eloquently as I should. Because it was me against the three. So, first, other crew members, workers, observers, have trooped into the studio to watch me. The pressure was too heavy on my shoulder. Eleven. Then I was chastised, berated, called crap, 
and took to our oh. house in 12. As I left the stage, I was confronted by a woman who he taught us knowingly. You could have, you couldn't even apologize. Then she vehemently said, get out, get out. Thirteen. By then, I was highly infuriated, so I, I told her, madam, please, you can't talk to me like that. Nobody can seize our fundamental human rights. Fourteen. Well, that was the last straw that broke the, the camel's back. She attempted to slap me. Me and Grashi me. Got frustrated. Was left, was left loose. And then she grabbed what looked like a camera stand and started chasing me. I made it to the reception. That was the fifteen point. I made it to the reception hall. Frustrated. Descended the stairs hurriedly. Two pursuing guys shouted loud. Stand there, catch him. <laughs> Some women started to tell me run, run. Sixteen. I took to my heels, I ran out of the four courts, then I was given a hot, a hot chase, sorry. <laughs> a light one of the two guys. <laughs> Seventeen. They started shouting, thief, 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 catch him, catch him. <laughs> when they realized I was out of reach. At this point, I sensed, at the eighteen point, at this point, I sensed my life was in a bit of danger, so I ran across the road without looking, skipped the walk. Jumped onto the man's road and hugged onto her father. I saw them retreat. It was scary. Um, honestly, I don't know the truth behind this, and I'm not gonna say that um, I would be biased towards um, the guy because he's an internet troll and I have a personal um, feeling about him. But uh, if what he's saying is true, then personally, I think that. Um, he should have actually reported to the police about this issue, and which, when he reports, he would also be shooting himself in the foot. I mean, since uh, Sarah here also has a report about this, I don't know how it would go, but um, I think if that is the case, then it wasn't professional. And I think uh, the people who did that should be held accountable, even though, I mean, the guy yeah, deserved what he got to, he had to go to me and uh, yeah personally I uh, yeah, feel sad for uh, people who are being accounts based on public opinion and what people say about them on social media and uh, you know uh, the picture some credible I'm not even saying credible sources some media houses paint or some people paint and uh when people take that as the person and they try to ignore the person's uh, hard work and all that, it actually pisses me off, especially when it comes to women. And, I mean, in the past, I have had uh, issues with some savage responses. So, uh, I mean, here herself made, but honestly, I, it's not that to that any serious degree. I had an issue with that, but I mean, I, I don't want to say that uh, she's a savage person herself because she is the tailor of a lot of savages and uh, savage responses. I'm, I'm not even really savage trolls in Ghana. So, I mean, I get that and I'll give her a pass for that. Anyway, um, the name's ADB, and I'm out. And we say bye bye! Another one. Yeah, uh, this is a quick one, a bonus one. So, uh, he apologized on Twitter saying, uh, he made a post saying that, um, uh, a big sorry to everyone I've disrespected on this app and on other platforms. Special apologies to Nanova, Sarah Mia, Richie Goto, Lydia Fortune, Kojo Sheldon, Carl and Simpson et al. I've regretted and I feel remorseful and I have reformed. Oh. And yeah, so, um, he took to Twitter to, uh, Make an apology and, uh, yeah, a lot of people I know, which I personally even know, uh, bullies are also going on, going on, uh, a crusade to get this blood, which personally I think is unnecessary, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, and Chewa, like I said, oh, you are, you are innocent. I can't catch you. <laughs> I don't know how guilty you are. Anyway, um, he also went on to say that uh, I've lost my job as a result. Poor me. Twitter is not a different world. 